Let's create this sound. Okay, so this is another very simple sound you can create very easily. I'm using pigments, but you can use any synthesizer. So first I'm going to use here the, the analog engine because it's, uh, it's easier to translate to other synthesizers. And I have Sawtooth for my first oscillator and I'm going to select square for the second one. So this is how it sounds. And I'm going to introduce the square in. I'm gonna maybe tweak this just a bit. So this is the sound right now. And what I want to do, and this is the main uh, idea behind this sound, is to automate the cutoff of this filter. This is a low pass filter. And I'm going to set it at first to almost nothing, all the way left. And I'm going to have the second envelope, envelope two, to automate the, the opening of that filter. So let's see how that works. So what really happens here is that the, the cutoff is controlled by this envelope and the attack time is the amount of time that it will take for the cutoff to make that spin from left to right to open up. So this is pretty fast. I can adjust that to, uh, you know, to the right position, but we'll do that a little later after we have our basic sound. Next, I'm, I, I'm going to uh, adjust the sustain and the decay. So my, my sustain is going to be zero. I don't want any sustain, but I do want the decay to be something um, else, just around uh, half a second. So the sound is really short, meaning uh, we, we are bursting and then retreating very fast. Now, this, this is going to be enhanced by the reverb. So right now I have in my effects, I have reverb on my send bus and we, we don't really hear it because it's not engaged. I need to set my send level. So let's see how that sound with reverb. Right, but what I want to do is I want to automate that as well. So I'm gonna click the plus here and I'm gonna have the third envelope control that. So you can see that as I play, the send level just turns on very fast. And then goes back very fast. Now let's also add some, uh, some delay. So I can have this uh, delay here. Let's uh, see how that works. Just a bit of delay and let's hear. We can do this as a ping pong. And less feedback and less, maybe just 10%. So this is pretty much it. I, uh, I mean, from here you can do a lot of things. So what we can also do is have a bit of resonance and that will do this. So it, it's up to you to decide how much resonance you want. And you know, it, it really depends on the sound that you're looking for. And again, the combination between the two oscillators will really determine the sound that you have. So you, you can have less of the square and more of the sawtooth. Okay, and this is pretty much it. So from here, you can take it and do whatever you like. Just play with the parameters and see what works for you.